Oh yeah. I'm feeling the Katsukon crunch. I'm I'm feeling it. it... Hey guys, Averybird aka Draman here with another vlog update on my Batman Beyond build. Now let's cut to the chase. I got a lot done. Too much. Actually not enough. Yeah, not enough. But I wanted to make sure you guys had a nice video update if you haven't been keeping up with my cosplay channel. So, here we go. I feel like a freaking string bean or a black licorice. Also, I, I know I have this on wrong. I just don't have anyone else to like zip up from the back. So... Don't sue me. Okay, let me take these nerd glasses off. Ooh. Oh, forgot I'm good looking. Ah, okay. I think that's, wait a second. Forgot the best part. Woo, that's right, baby. Got the helmet done. Got it done. Oh my gosh, you don't understand how long this took me. Four days. That's how long it took me. You didn't have to guess. Oh, so good. Ah! Okay, time to take this off so I can <laughs> so I can uh, talk clearly. So yeah, this is what I got done so far on my Batman Beyond build. Uh, it might not seem like much because really, I think what I've gotten done are the gauntlets and this is painted from when you last seen it in the videos. And I got a belt done. Here it is. The belt. I can actually attach it. Oop. I almost dropped it. Ooh. Oh, you can attach it uh, without much fuss. Fits pretty tight around my waist. It's pretty awesome. And most importantly, I got the helmet done, which is uh, this. Like I said, was a really daunting task, seeing as I didn't have the proper tools to uh, make this thing. I had a foam head, but it was too small because. Don't tell ladies I said that though. Wait, crap, that wait, that sounded way too wrong. Never mind. Disregard. So I might put another piece of foam in here to guard my nose, or else my nose will go like this. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Only have the legs to do. My my little string bean legs. Ah, ah. I'm also gonna get gloves. Um, so I'm actually gonna either cut this off and then sew the uh, outer edges so it, I don't have any fraying sides so this Zentai suit doesn't come apart. And if you're wondering since the last time, is there still any mobility? Uh, there, it's, it's went down a little bit more since I made the, the gauntlets. Actually, I had three iterations. Yeah, three iterations before this one. Why can I hold all these gauntlets? If you haven't noticed already on the suit, I actually use my Dremel to get a lot of the uh, rivet hole detailings. Um, it's actually all across the suit, it's on my gauntlets, whatever these things are called. There's no rivet details on this yet, although you can see a uh, kind of uh, cut detailing I did all across the helmet so far. It feels like I'm Batman already, it, it's super cool, I can't wear, wait to wear this at a convention. Also, where do the wise guys, like, and I do mean like just guys, not, well, girls too, because they can do this at cons, but mostly guys I see do this at cons. When you're wearing a Zentai suit, for the love of God, wear a codpiece. No one wants to see your willy-nilly under a suit. I don't even want to see my willy-nilly under a suit. What? I just said a, a willy-nilly. I'm not trying to bleach my eyes every day after a con because I see some stuff I don't want to see. So that's it. As a recap, I only have the legs, all of the legs, my boots that I'm going to have, and a cod piece to make. And then I'm on the painting, so this should be, I'm in like just about the final stretch. I'm so excited. Ah! I am, I am weird. I'm Avery Bird, a.k.a. Octraman. And I'm signing out. Peace, guys. Ah! Oh, yeah. Um, before I leave, by the way, <laughs> the shirt that I was wearing at the beginning of this video, I actually made. I actually have a design by Human Shop where I actually sell this shirt, three iterations of it. So if you're interested in buying one, you can click the link down below and you can buy yourself one. It supports me, it supports my channel, and makes me know that people love my stuff and want to support me, which is great. So, yeah. Self-promotion!